For the Model Y, we wanted to keep it a long time and protect it from scratches, stone chips, etc. So we did a lot of research on paint protection film, PPF, cosmetic PPF, which um, adds some glitter and a slight color change, vinyl wrap, ceramic coat, and peelable dip. Repainting the car is obviously out of the question, especially for a new car, even if it is white. It is by far the most expensive option, even if it is the most durable and long lasting. A ceramic coat would be great for keeping the car clean, but not so useful against scratches and stone chips. Vinyl wrap would cost about six and a half grand. You can get any design you want and it should last at least five years, even if you don't look after it. A negative of vinyl wrap is that some glues can damage the underlying paintwork and can be a massive task to properly remove the vinyl itself. PPF is about $6,000 for the whole car. It's a clear vinyl to protect from scratches and most rock chips. Decent PPF also has some self-healing abilities, so smaller scratches and chips can self-repair. It should last at least five years, though one has a lifetime warranty, that's SunTech, which has a ceramic layer in it, which in reality means at least 12 years. For track pack PPF, which covers the front, fender, bonnet, and sometimes the lower section of the lower doors, it's from $1,500. The downside to this is that wherever there are edges to the vinyl, such as around the headlights, etc., dirt will build up there. So you'll see lines of grime over time. And yes, that rhymes. Applying a ceramic layer on top of a track PPF will stop the grime lines. The one that seemed the best value to me, as it has a lifetime warranty, also at least 12 years, is the Vulcan package, um, which is a layer or two of ceramic and then a couple of layers of elastomer on top, like a rubber on top for $2,490, so $2,490. And that's from a place called Beauty and the Beast in Perth. There are also, if you can find someone who has it, cosmetic PPFs. Um, Flexi Shield USA has a bunch which looked great um, with color shift where different light and angles show different colors, but no one trusts their film yet in Australia. Your only option here is SunTech Full Prism PPF, which is about six and a half grand for a full car. It's not an in your face covering, but it will make your original color quite glittery. Uh, grumpy old man, he uh, put this Full Prism PPF on his uh, blue Model Y and it looks very, very cool. There's no point doing a track pack with Full Prism though. It's really all or nothing. So it seemed to us that the best value for money was if we went with the PPF was to do the track pack and add the ceramic and elastomer Vulcan on top for $4,000. One thing I found with PPF is that there are so many films and different film technologies and a lot of claims from the manufacturers about how long they last, which in most cases is not actually true according to long-term tests. I'll link to a good video below um, so you can see what I mean. PPF can discolor over time. The self-healing properties seem to wear out within a couple of years and many don't have the water resistance over time that they claim to have. Once you delve into your own research, you'll see what I mean. It's hard to know which PPF product is best. Another option is to dip your car. This doesn't mean to throw it in a bath of something. Um, dip is what they call a PVC based paint, um, also known as rubberized coating. It gets applied just like paint uh, with multiple base color coats, multiple coats of the color you want on top of the base, and then a couple of gloss coats or uh, clear coats if you want satin. The cost depends on the size or difficulty of your car, of course, but a whole Model Y is $2,700. My Leaf would be about $2,400. You can also obviously just do certain sections, not the whole car, do, do the bonnet or the fenders or whatever you want, or even just the wheels. Even if you have the correct gear, if you don't know what you were doing, it is very, very easy to stuff up. Here's how Donut Media stuffed up theirs. I'll link below to the full video. Oh no! Oh, oh, my God. God. This is the worst thing I've ever done. So professional dipping is done like on the videos from Dip Your Car. I'll also put the link below. Proper workshop, 
car preparation for cleaning, masking, etc., proper materials, equipment, and technique. So ultimately, it was between PPF and dipping. We decided to dip the Y as it's much cheaper, much more color choice, with similar protection and durability to PPF. Uh, Dips is the company we went through in Perth, and they have been doing this for many years. Here are some before and after examples of other cars they have done. You can see that if your car paint is peeling or a real mess, dipping is a very good option. Dips take your car, clean it, mask it up, apply the base, color, and then the protective clear coats, gloss or satin, depending on your, your choice. As you can see, colors are only limited by your imagination. And there are plenty of color shift and metallic options to choose from or mix and match. You can even add decals to the top of the dip. This is one of my favorites. A lovely metallic blue with some cool decals added. For the Y, we wanted a mid silver with bronze highlights, similar to Lexus's atomic silver. It's strange, but my camera makes it look quite a bit more bronze than what it is in real life. In real life, it's quite silver, almost molten silver with some bronze. We also wanted the pillar delete and black mirrors, which were $350 extra. So the whole cost was $2,700 plus $350, so equals $3,050. One thing we were really impressed with was that Dips did pinstriping on the edges of where the dip meets the interior paintwork. Makes it very, very neat. There's no special washing regimen or chemicals to use with a dip. You just treat it like you normally do. Probably not go through a normal car wash, you know, the abrasive ones. Um, you don't really want to do with that to your paint car either. Obviously, the least amount of UV it gets, the better, just like paint and PPF and anything else. So there you go. Um, if I get my leaf done, it will definitely be a color shift. Being a hatchback, uh, that would be about $2,400. So here I'll leave you with some more examples of dip cars from dips and elsewhere. Mm -hmm.